it is time to take a journey to the infamous Goodwill bins and see what treasures await us in that deep blue plastic sea. Back to the bins. Will this be a good bins trip? The magic eight ball said you can rely on it. Let's test the magic eight ball's accuracy. But yes, we are back at the bins. It's been a while since I've been there. I like the bins. I like the adventure of having no idea what you might come across. It might be good, it might be bad, you might find food, you just never know. This trip, I did find a few good things. First, you have to sift through anything and everything. Hangers, going out shoes, clothes, lights. Christmas trees are the worst to have to push aside and dig through. But yes, if you've never been to the bins, this gives you a good view of what it's like. So this was a Fisher Price nativity set. I looked it up online. It usually sold for $6.99 at Goodwill. Didn't sell there. It stayed at the bins. We found some Betty Boop plush. They were in kind of rough shape. I looked them up as well, being a reseller, and they weren't worth that much money. Though some Betty Boop items can command a decent price. Now this, I put the cap back on. We do not need red paint everywhere. That would be awful. Oh, we found Jesus. Imagine that. We find him every single time. Lots of VHS tapes. Maybe when VHS tapes come back, it, the bins will be the place to go, but just a mishmash of stuff today from CDs to DVDs to VHS, cassette tapes, new stuff, old stuff, stuff that has been at Goodwill and that did not sell. So it took me a while to find a good, a good bin. And uh, when I did, it, it was pretty good. And here's the bin. So this was a new bin that they brought out. We had to wait until we could go and sift through, but I think you can tell what I had my eye on. I put the camera down, I dug, I found some nice vintage Christmas, and then I kept digging to see what else we could find. You gotta move stuff, pull stuff up. I try to be as gentle as I can, but you know, you have to move things over. So this bin had another mishmash of everything. Someone's Disney photos, Smokey the Bear. When you see one thing and then you start to see another of the same item, look through the rest of that bin because you might find something like this, an Alice in Wonderland record. Naturally, that came home with me. But yes, I always say when you start to find multiples of a certain item, definitely take a look in that bin because odds are when they dumped a bag, the entire bag went in there and it has more of what you're looking for. So if you're ever looking for complete pieces to a game, check an entire bin. Or a nativity, in, in my case, I found complete nativities in the bins as well. Picked up Mr. Casper, perfect for the upcoming Halloween day. And then I found this poor guy, had a great Star Wars sticker on the front, record player. At the bins, everything is $1.69 a pound, even electronics. So you have to keep that in mind, at least at my bins, when you are purchasing heavy items because you're going to be charged $1.69 a pound. So like that speaker, that's going to cost you $1.69 a pound. I found this. This did not cost me $1.69 a pound. They do actually a flat $1.69 or $1.70 for the book because this book weighed almost 15 pounds, this Bible. This beautiful antique, we're going to say, or vintage Bible. I could not find a copyright date, but it has some great illustrations from black and white to color. And for $1.70, this was not going to be left there. It is beautiful. So that came home with me as well. In the back section, you have a lot of the breakables, which don't necessarily go into the bins. I have found Pyrex here. I found some other nice knickknacks, but today we did find Lucy. We found the whole entire I Love Lucy collection. Again, you're paying by the pound for the VHS tapes. Not a bad bins trip. Now, I always say that I'm going to stay there the whole day. And I, I never do. I still haven't done that. I, I think I really have to mentally prepare myself to do that, but I will. 
one day. <laughs> um, but I was at the bins for probably maybe two hours. I made it through two rotations of clothing and the brick brack household items. And then I thought, you know what? I'm good. So I left. Uh, it's they I think they changed the time they opened. I thought they opened at eight. They opened at nine, which is perfect because I got there right at nine. And uh, they changed the bins every hour. And I found some to me some good stuff, you know, in terms of reselling. We get so close to those rare things. We get like the the you know, the next tier down from rare. One day we're gonna find a rare there, I know it. So what did I pick up? Well, let's just first start off with something that was just so random that was sitting in a bin where I got most of the things that I found today. And that was this guy, a stuffed mouse. <laughs> he is actually from 1973, made by the Russ Berry Company. And this little mouse, his name is Mealy. M-E-A-L-Y. And if you look him up on eBay, shocking, one actually just sold for, I think, $44 for this. My guess is someone had this little guy when they were a kid and it's been long gone. They want to buy it and have that memory again. Now this one had, it looks like a mouse was chewing on his ears, but you know, everything at the bins is now $1.69 a pound at my bins, everything. They used to have, uh, the price was a little bit cheaper for the, you know, the knickknacks, glassware, nope, $1.69 a pound, everything. So we bought him. Is he going to be worth the $44? I don't know. He doesn't have the Mealy tag that says Mealy, but he does have his raspberry tag. I picked him up. Now he was sitting amongst the bin with the Christmas. Yes, I found some vintage Christmas. Well, first when they wheeled out the little wagon, the, the bin, I saw this guy, our favorite Santa, and he was positioned, I think like this. Now, at this bin, they change the rules. Sometimes you are not allowed to be near the new bins at all. You have to wait you know, on the other side of the wall or in a certain spot that they designate before you can go up to the bins. These are double-edged sword situations because in that case, it's kind of nice because everyone has a fair chance. You know, they're, you can get to a bin. You're, the odds of you getting to a bin are probably the same as someone else's. You know, it, it's not, um, you can look at every single thing in the bin. You can't be by the bin. But the downfall of that is that people run to get to a certain bin. Sometimes they push, sometimes use their shopping carts and it can get messy. Now, now you can actually stand right in front of the bin that you wanna look at. You can stand right in front of the bin that you wanna take something from. And that's kinda nice because you eliminate the pushing or the running, but at the same time, you know, if someone stands right next to you and they have a longer arm than you do, or they're just a little bit more aggressive than, you know, even if it's like right here in front of you, you still might not get it. Anyway, and that's kind of what happened. The next thing, so I did buy a bag of vintage Christmas balls, rather fragile. A few of them are already broken, but um, I love just the little daintiness of them. So these were in the same bin with the other Christmas items that I purchased in the bin right in front of me and these were positioned in a like a decorative box at the other side of my bin so my plan was i was going to grab santa with one hand and the box with the balls with another hand so i got santa i'm moving the box with the balls towards me and i feel like a tug and here <laughs> the person on the other side of the other bin that was on the other side of my bin they had a coat hanger and they were trying to grab these. Now normally I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, you can have it. And I thought, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> the majority of this box is like right near me. So I just said, I'm sorry. And I put it in my bag. Hopefully I didn't make an enemy. I, I, I don't know. It's not like, you know, these are worth a hundred some dollars. You know, I'm just gonna throw these on my Christmas tree or use them in crafts. But uh, yeah, so that got me thinking, what if you find 
you know, the left sleeve of some jacket and a person finds the right sleeve of that same jacket and you go to like grab it out of the bin, who gets it? I don't know. I don't know that rule. Probably depends if you, you know, I don't know. I don't know who gets it, but anyway. So yes, this bin was filled with Christmas. So we got Santa, we got the balls. I found this guy, these poor things in the original package. I think they're maybe koalas, mice. I'm not sure. We got those in the original package. We got these little doodads in the original package from Hills Department Store, originally 48 cents. I found a nativity, found Jesus, still in its original box. I didn't even look to see if it was broken. Actually, wow, that's not. These are usually made in Hong Kong. Oh, this one's made in China. But I find, oh, there is a piece that was broken. I fibbed. No, oh, well, just glue it on there. <laughs> found that. And then I also found this, which I didn't open there because it was taped. So I just opened it before I started filming. It's a revolving Christmas card tree by Davis. Online, it's like $12. But look, I didn't, it hasn't even been put together yet. So here's your tree. And then you can insert, it says to trim, insert one or two cards in each slot. So how cute is that? So that bin was filled with all sorts of great vintage Christmas and it was right in front of me. Thank you. <laughs> we got that. Uh, I did get some records. Naturally, we're not leaving the Alice in Wonderland record behind. I can use that in some kind of junk journal. Um, and then I also got Casper the Friendly Ghost, Where Do You Hide in a Haunted House? I did not check that one out. And then I got the Christmas Santa Claus is Coming to Town because I liked the, the sleeve. Got that. Now, the other item that if it was rare or if, no, if it was a different year edition, it could be rare and worth hundreds. And what was that, you ask? Well, my almost 15 pound Bible. I mean, I can use this for working out, work out with Jesus. Oh my gosh. So this is sitting amongst the books. And I thought, oh, why didn't anyone take this? This is great. And first I thought, well, is it $1.69 a pound? Because $1.69 a pound, this would compute to like almost $25 for this, which I mean, I guess is cheap considering if you have it at auctions, it'd probably go for more, but the cover is off. Now, I don't know if you could see on the cover, you have some of the, I think this is Mason's. Um, I Internal order OF. OF, I O O F. So we actually have skull and crossbones, bows and arrows, the hands, a serpent. I could not find a year, but I think someone has the same one listed for $900 on eBay. Good luck. But Bibles, antique Bibles, can bring in a lot of money. Just take a peek for yourself. The reason that I bought this is because of the beautiful illustrations and uh, inside. There are some that are colored, but then you also have the ones that aren't. Um, oftentimes in these Bibles, the older versions, there is a place in the back to put photos, which usually have uh, tintypes in them. Um, do. So you just look at the nice... I just love that like pastel light color. So got that, got that guy. <sighs> then I went right to my car after I bought this. I'm not <laughs> carting that around the bins, but that was it. There were some nice uh, vintage clothing, but uh, those were scooped up by the regular clothing people that are there. You know, kudos to them. They spend every single day, day in and day out at the bins. I, I don't know how they do it. I should probably take a lesson from them because I still have not done that, but I will. 
But yeah, close to some rare items with that plush and the Bible, but just a little off. But still finding some fun things and better than the thrift store. Let me tell you, it takes longer for me to get to the bins, but honestly, I walk out of there not disappointed and uh, I had fun. So that's a win-win in my book. Maybe next time I'll find that rare item. Maybe, so close, so close. <laughs> <laughs> Anything would be a title for a bins video, right? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this trip to the bins and seeing what it is like to dig through, sift through, all that stuff because there is a lot of it. If you are going out to your local bins, I wish you much luck and much success and may you find that rare item. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose. <laughs>